Hello, everybody. Okay, so today I'm going to continue my review of interfaces with Chat PTF, interfaces like Humata, ChatDoc, uh, Chat PDF, um, programs that allow uh, the user to upload basically a specific uh, article or a specific document, a specific text to ChatGPT and allowing the user ourselves to then interact with that one document. So the I'll share my screen. So the one uh, program I'm going to um, share with you today is called Ask Your PDF. So um, if you Google it, it's just Ask Your PDF, a whole single word, dot com, right? And here it is. So here it says uh, PDF chatbot transform. It's odd that here it says PDF chatbot, and then in the URL it's Ask Your PDF. But the name is Ask Your PDF, but it seems to have uh, a branding um, issue that they should probably change. Um, Ask Your PDF basically says you can interact with your PDFs powered by ChatGPT. And from what I've under, uh, from what I've understood by looking at the Discord channel, it is actually ChatGPT four. So unlike the other interactive um, programs with uh, PDFs like Humata, um, like uh, ChatDoc, and like ChatPDF. Uh, those programs uh, are 3.5. So this one it purports to, and I have no way to check, but it's it. it my understanding is that it is interacting when you're um, authoring your prompts. It is interacting with GPT-4, okay? And it says, um, it's not just PDFs, although that's what it's branded as, Ask Your PDF. You can also upload documents uh, that are Word docs or text or PowerPoints or CSV or spreadsheets, uh, EPUB and RTF. Okay, so I've 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 already uh, taken the liberty of uploading a document that I've been working with uh, quite a bit in the different um, reviews of these um, uh, interfaces with Chat PDF uh, that allow uploading of documents. I've uploaded again this document, um, this very old document from the 80s called um, Postmodernism or the Cultural Logic of Late Capitalism by Frederick Jameson. Because it's a very well-known article. I have it. Um, it's uh, It would have been something that would have been in the original training data as well um, when GPT was trained. So I've, I've uploaded that document and I've simply asked uh, ask your PDF a very simple question here on the right. According to Jameson, is postmodernism the repudiation of modernist impulses? Please elaborate. Why should people repudiate modernism? So I'm going straight to the to the point. I'm actually asking it a rather combative question. I'm not just asking it to explain what Jameson is um, uh, trying to argue in the article, but rather uh, if indeed postmodernism already it's already a leading question. If it is a repudiation of modernism, why is it so? Right. So elaborate. So it says here. It's a very short answer. Jameson argues that postmodernism is often seen as the repudiation of modernist impulses, which are seen as spent and exhausted. However, he also suggests that postmodernism can be seen as a cultural dominant uh, that allows for the coexistence of a range of different yet subordinate features. That's not bad. Yeah, it's good prose. As for why people might repudiate modernism, Jameson suggests that the Older modernism was passionately repudiated by an older Victorian and post-Victorian bourgeoisie for whom its forms and ethos were, were received as being vigorous, variously ugly, dissonant, obscure, scandalous, immoral, subversive, and generally antisocial. However, he also notes that the canonization and academic institutionalization of the modern movement generally, which can be traced to the 1950s, has rendered such attitudes archaic. I don't know. I don't really like those two sentences. Quite a number of uh, clauses, and then um, and then breaking up uh, of the argument with a kind of a clause in between, which you know. So that's okay. But I'm actually surprised when I asked it that question because uh, that's a very short answer, right? That's not a very um, uh, long or, if you will, elaborated answer, and so. As a referent, I also asked the same question to ChatDoc, and ChatDoc is another program that I reviewed. I'll put some of those links to those reviews in the show notes uh, in this um, uh, in this video review notes underneath, so that you can link to them if you want to take a look at them. 
But I've reviewed ChatDoc, and I think ChatDoc is quite good. ChatDoc is quite useful because not only does it do what as PDF does, but it also highlights the parts in the text that it's referring to. In other words, it's citing, whereas Ask Your PDF, as, as far as we know, is not citing. So I also asked it the same question here, right? Uh, according to Jameson, is postmodernism a repudiation of the modernist impulses? Please elaborate, so on and so forth. And then it says, according to Jameson, postmodernism is characterized by a rejection of high modernism, but this rejection is not necessarily, necessarily a, com a complete repudiation of modernist impulses. Rather, he argues that postmodernism represents a cultural dominant that has emerged as a result of various social and historical changes. He suggests that modernism, particularly in arts, was once seen as radical and subversive, blah, 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 challenging the notions and values of the bourgeois society. However, basically, they become canonized, institutionalized, and they lost their subversive edge. I think that's quite good. And then it goes on further to a second paragraph. I won't read that. And then with a, a, a summary at the end, a third paragraph. So in that sense, if we go back to uh, the first answer in ask, um, your, uh, ask Your PDF, Ask Your PDF is actually a bit stingy in the text that it writes, and it seems to write in a less academic or scholarly manner. So what I did was I asked it, please rewrite. Can you provide a longer, more synthetic and comprehensive answer? Use scholarly, use a scholarly academic voice. And of course, I've typed these in before to save time, right? Um, um, and, and, um, and, and that's why they appear here uh, already uh, answered. Um, Jameson argues that postmodernism should not be seen as a style, but rather as a cultural dominant that allows for the presence and coexistence of a range of very different yet subordinate features. He suggests that postmodern itself is a little more than one more stage of modernist proper, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, not bad, better, I think. I think that is better. And also, similar to the um, answer in chat dog, it's presenting it in a three-part kind of paragraph structure with a summary. So that's quite good. So that, I think, with this improvement to the prompt saying, can you write a longer, more synthetic, more scholarly written, uh, if you will answer, I think the answer is the same or as good as, I still like the voice in chat dog. Um, it seems a bit more of an academic voice that I'm familiar with in terms of academic writing. Whereas I think in ask your PDF, the, um, the narration might be less to my liking. So I think it, it's very subjective, I think, when you're looking at um, arts and humanities or, if you will, this type of kind of liberal arts use of uh, these interfaces with chat, PT, uh, um, uh, with chat uh, PDF type programs. So I also, of course, as, as the ultimate referent, I also asked the same question to chat GPT. So I asked it the same thing, and it says here, uh, so according to Frederick Jameson's article, is postmodernism repudiation of modernist impulse. And it says, uh, yes, it's a response to the conditions of late capitalism. It does reject certain modernist impulses, uh, it, but it's be, it goes beyond the simple repudiation of modernism. It's characterized by these things. It's also related to late capitalism. Uh, it's also, that's why he, he argues postmodernism is seen as the cultural logical late capitalism. Um, and then he says, however, it's important to note that Jameson does not explicitly, explicitly call for the repudiation of modern. So I think that's actually the most important sentence, because that's actually what was important in my question as I was being more, if you will, combative. Uh, and actually, uh, ChatGPT is the one that I think that answers it the best in some respects, right, without any further prompting. Um, but un but ChatGPT uh, does not allow uh, the user to, to limit the questions to a specific document. I picked the document that it would have clearly seen because it's a, a very well-known famous article. But if we picked a more obscure article or a more, if you will, narrow focused or, or a journal article that was published after its training, after 2021, then it wouldn't be able to do this. And that's when Ask Your PDF and ChatDoc, Humata, and then there's another program I haven't reviewed yet called Redoc, which also would, these programs would be then very, very useful because it would be introducing new information to ChatGPT and allowing the user, us, to ask very or interact with it in a very narrow manner. So, um, so uh, you know, uh, 
It also, another, I guess, limitation to ask your PDF, it, unlike ChatDoc and Humata, um, it doesn't cite the pages. And so uh, I went on to continue my conversation and say, you know, like what page number does it say this, you know? Uh, and then it says, well, it's actually found, this question is found throughout the topic, uh, th throughout the essay. Um, and then uh, I said, but does he discuss architecture and what, on what page? And then finally here, this is a version of citation that Ask Your uh, PDF will provide. It says, well, he does discuss the this the Bonaventure Hotel on page eighty. So that's not really a citation. It kind of is, but certainly it's not a uh, it's not one that's um, um, uh, I think that useful in that sense. So um, I'll unshare my screen. So final thoughts and final verdict. I mean, I think. Ask Your PDF is very useful because it is it's allowing the user to use the generative AI, the power of this large language model, to have this semantic language, natural language interaction with a specific document. And it is free. And also, Ask Your PDF is also telling us that it's interacting with GPT-4. I didn't see that much of a difference between 3.5 and 4 in the questions that I asked, but that may be, you know, as they say, your mileage may vary um, depending on your use. Um, but I think it's okay. I did like it. It's, it's easy to use. Um, it's not difficult. It's user-friendly. But then I think ChatDoc is also quite user-friendly and is superior because ChatDoc also cites and will highlight the passages from where the answers are derived. Humata, which is also another type of program like this, interface with ChatGPT, also cites and highlights. So those two, in that sense, are probably more useful. But this is the only one so far, Ask Your PDF, that says it is using ChatGPT4, which is supposed to be the more improved large language model, the more tweaked and fine-tuned uh, large language model. Um, but I've, in, in, my, uh, in, in my sort of interaction with it, I haven't found that big of a, of a difference. Um, so I, I don't even know if it is actually uh, GPT-4. It, 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 according to the, uh, uh, to the designer and to the discussions in Discord, it is GPT-4. So there you have it. Um, um, ask your PDF, very useful, just as useful as ChatDoc and Humata. Its only limitation is it's not citing. Uh, but if you wanted to just use it as a tutor or as an assistant or as some, somebody to like uh, bounce ideas off about a particular document, a, a chapter, an article, or um, perhaps if you, or, or perhaps some data like a spreadsheet that you had, very, very useful uh, in that sense. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, uh, speak to you or talk to you another time.